All right, uh, Shalom. Before we start, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Ka'adash, the honors to the apostles, and every millstone, peace, blessing, and salutation, and salam, like Akim, Wach, Wachim, learning, teaching, and truth, and sincerity. It's just going to be another uh, lesson through the Spirit. Uh, me and the brother was uh, doing some spiritual talk, and it's something that, you know, some I, I was thinking on shit last couple days. Uh, this world right now, the way that things are going, basically everyone, everyone's morning. Everybody, everything, you know, despite everything that you might see in TV, people driving with these nice cars, motherfuckers having kids and all this and all that. This world is actually going downhill. It's in turmoil. Everybody's sad. Everybody's depressed. Everyone is up. Uh, you uh, bump somebody. Everybody ready to knock you the hell out. All right, and it's all because of Esau's so-called white man's fault. All because he wanted to lie about history. All because he wanted to take over the world. All right, he wanted to uh, pretend to be the Israelites. That's why everyone is catching hell and experiencing hell. And this is all written in the scriptures, and it was prophesied to be here in the end times. Yeah, this is Psalm thirty-two, and verse. I just started at one. Yeah, I was uh, standing in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the gods. How long will ye judge un unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Because uh, Salah, because King David, or uh, a Psalm of Asaph, so Asaph was crying unto the Lord, saying, How long will you accept the person of the wicked? And ultimately, the Heavenly Father doesn't accept the person of the wicked, man. It's just, uh, there's a lot of time. For when this devil, the man who, who is to be blamed for all this, to be destroyed. Because it's your fault, Esau. It's your fault. It is all the so-called white man's fault that the earth is like this. Because ever since the garden, and since you were the serpent, you you caused Eve to go off and turned this world into a, a spiral of destruction, man. Verse uh, 3. Defend, defend the poor and fatherless. Do, do justice. To the afflicted and needy, deliver the poor and needy, rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They 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 know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course, and that's how the world is right now. The world is out of course, man. Everything is 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 out of order. The we're in the valley of the shadow of death, man. That's why I said they walk in darkness. We we didn't see slug. We didn't see pigeons that look like they've been in World War Two. The damn pigeon in downtown. The motherfucker lived downtown somewhere. He got he an albino. He got one like he oh, yeah, looked like he got his one leg cut. Yeah, I, I think he only do got one leg. And he be popping up every so often, man. Even the animals out here looking war torn, yeah. like they just got a divorce and they came home from the military and they. Fucking kids don't love them no more. Everyone's, everything's destroyed here. Verse six. I said, "Ye are gods, and and all of you the children of the of the Most High, but ye shall die like men, and like and and fall like one of the princes." And that's even really, we're not even supposed to die. The nation of Israel is supposed to be a glorious people before the eyes of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. So even that is out of course. Everything is out of course. Everything. From the food to the people to the animals, everything is out of course. Everything is out of order. That's why verse 6 says this. Arise, O power, judge the earth, for thou shalt increase all nations. So he, uh, Asaph was saying, arise, judge the earth. Do judgment in the earth. Make, because the Lord is, he's from the outside looking in. He can see everybody's evil deed. He can, he can see the wickedness that these people are doing. And Asaph was saying, Partially of it, he's like destroy these people, man. And then, and then, even as a prophecy for uh, America, everything is fucked up, man. Everything's out of whack, man. Everybody's angry, everybody's tense, everybody's uh, has a cold heart to each other. This world, nobody knows how to even have a fucking conversation with you. You try to have a conversation yeah, with somebody, they bug out, man. You can't so, even confident. No, you can't even tell. You can, like. Not even just a woman. You can't even just tell another Shit, person, crazy, "Hey man, your shoes look. Your shoes is decent. Where do you get them? Sh oh, nigga. Oh. Man, who scheming? who is you? you scheming? You try to talk to a. Uh, you try to tell a woman. I would. <laughs> I remember, and I wasn't even trying to get with the girl. I just she has some white hair. She dyed her hair white. I was like, I was like, oh, that's a, a unique style. I was like, shit, you should try purple too. She's 
this y'all, I was like, man, f- all right, fuck on, sit there, sit there then. You can't, you literally can't even, man, the scriptures say what, uh, love thy neighbor. Man, these motherfuckers in, are so they wicked, they them. making us, they making, making us go, go off. We can't, you can't be friendly with one of these uh, Israelites out here. You accept one of these homeless Israelites or some Israelite in low me, favor, man. you give them some money, man, they'll put you clean to death. So really, the neighbors is your brothers in the yeah, truth, Yeah, the truth, kind of, yeah. Because these people are just Dark souls, man. Literally. Yeah, they're, dark they're, they're, they're literally the dark, dark souls. souls walking on. They got demons on them. They're, <laughs> they're like, if down. you ever seen the movie Frankenstein, the whole goal of Satan in that movie was put to put demons in dead bodies. And he, and, and he did it, man. All these people are dead, dead people with demons on them, man. They just walking around with demons on them. And they, and they do whatever the demon tells them to do. Because I was thinking, I was thinking, of, when I was driving, I said the difference between us uh, being in the truth and when we're in the world, we didn't hear those demons, man. Those demons that would try to make us, uh, that would make us do some fuck shit in the world. But in the truth, you hear them, man. You can rebuke them and fight against them. These people hear the demon. They, they really don't even hear them. The demon just force them. They, really they just go. They, like, they, it's like a controller, like you're playing a video game. They, they just go. Ain't no thought, nothing. They just do whatever the demon tell them to do, man. I got, I got this real quick. Matthew uh, 24 and 10, it says, And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall or, shall rise and deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many yeah. shall wax cold. I was just about to get that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, hey, the love of many waxes cold, not just here in America, but worldwide. That's why World War III is about to pop off. Yeah. People in this world, okay, you, and you know what? I'm not justifying it, but you got that situation where... Uh, that Edomite man just put the beats on I'm that uh, black beat on, that, the, on that, that in beat. She deserved it. Yeah, no, hey, she boy. did, but <laughs> hey, a uh, th- uh, thousand years ago, and in, in our, I'll, I'll say more than a thousand. Back then, when we was righteous, if we would, if it would have even been a, uh, if Edomite even looked like he was gonna come too close to one of us, he would have got the hammies put on him. But now this place, so everybody just sitting record. Hey, if you get an attack. You better fight for your yeah, life, cause you better, if you, you think somebody fight. around you Ain't gonna, help you, gonna help you, all you gonna see is this. But <laughs> gonna, gonna help you. People gonna be doing this. You could be getting jumped. It could be your cousin. Your blood cousin could be standing next to you. Nobody. Talking about damn, cuz fight, fight. Hey, you these people fight for your life. These people is heartless. Hey, that didn't be she got what she deserved. Yes. But hey, showing you did. these people, and they's <laughs> expecting some flying knight, Captain Save on nigga to come out the woodwork and somebody <laughs> yell from the back. That's a woman. That nigga, hey. 30, he, he 300 feet away. This place done. I got some real quick. God. This is second, this is 4 and 28. But as concerning the things uh, whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. Mm. So evil is sown in the earth. Yeah. Evil is literally taking hold of the planet Earth, just like during the time of Noah, when the Lord looked upon the earth and he, wanted, and, and he destroyed it's it. It's all none good. None. He, he not just, one. He That's just, the scripture. Not one. He just killed. You, these people forget the Lord killed. They don't. It don't tell you how many people was on the planet at the time. But you gotta think. That'd be enough. That's the whole planet. Lord killed the entire planet and left eight people because they was doing wickedness. And and it, we're in the same time now. Verse twenty nine. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, if the place where the evil is sown Pass not away, then cannot it come that it that is sown which is which is good. For the grain of evil seed hath been sown in the heart of Adam from the beginning, and how much ungodliness have it brought up unto this time, how much shall and how much shall it yet bring forth into the time of threshing come? Ponder now by thyself how great fruit of wickedness the grain of evil seed hath brought forth. This, this world is completely evil, man. The angel basically told him, look, this world is, is in utter wickedness. And, and that's all that's sown in it. Evil. Wrong, wrongdoing. Malice. Or how should I say what's in, a, in the evil man's mind? Malice. Uh, uh, blasphemy. Covetousness. Blah, all types of uh, wickedness, man. And, that's, and that's, what we, that's what we live in. To this day, that's what we live in. This is real quick, 2nd Ezra 5 and verse uh, 2. But iniquity shall 
be increased above that which now now thou seest. That was back then. Yep. Or that thou hast heard long ago. So wickedness is even greater even from the time of the flood. There was a faggots running around Ezra like crazy. Yeah. Or Azariah, or in Hebrew. Yep. And at the time we're in at the at the rate that this place is going, human life would stop. Would no cease. one people wouldn't reproduce. Yep. There'd be too much war, there'd be too much uh, chemicals jacking everybody up. Everyone's not everybody would die. It's not a normal thing for everybody to be catching cancer in their forties. I remember I was at work, and, and the Jake, the Jake I was talking to, he, he was right about it, because there was this Edomite, uh, he was he was like, well, everybody catches cancer, everybody going to kill The Jake, he an older cat, he was like, he's like, that's not normal. Not he was normal. like, that oh. shit is not normal. And really what he wanted to tell him, because me and that Jake would be talking, he he wanted to tell him that was your people causing it. Yep. But he couldn't tell him that, because, you know, because we in the place of work. But he was like, he was like, that shit ain't normal. Shit was not, didn't used to be like that, and it's not. Uh, Isaiah 24. Uh, or I'll say slack, and it, and it wasn't like that. All right, you're not supposed to just catch. You ain't never smoked. You ate. You had uh, Eat healthy, healthy eating habits. You was regular in the gym, and you fuck around and get a uh, 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 lymph noma or some no. some random ass some cancer, disease. some damn shoulder cancer or some shit, man. Right? And you ain't all you did is eat healthy <laughs> your whole life, and you end up with cancer. Don't make no sense, man. They they even say the the kale is full of pesticides, man. Can't eat nothing. That's a joke. Isaiah 24 and 4 says, The earth mourneth and fadeth oh, away. That's, that's, that's you know? <laughs> the earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. And does that mean the planet earth is literally disappearing? No, it means the condition, the people, the plants, the animals. Everything is getting smaller. Everything's getting weaker. The food is uh the food isn't doing as much as it used to. The water isn't as good as it used to be people are getting shorter and weaker well your wisdom teeth you actually needed your wisdom teeth in the ancient world but now since we've actually got smaller and our our, our skulls have actually got smaller over time each generation gets smaller that's why esau pulls out your wisdom teeth because they literally don't fit in your mouth anymore they don't fit and that's literally through generations and generations getting smaller and smaller and smaller and that's one of the prophecies that's written in the scriptures man that like even uh somebody said uh what what's the what's the Jake's name from uh uh Grand Rapids who fell out? Uh fucking uh Hardob. Yeah, Hardob, even even I was, uh he said this when he was in the in the truth. He said that Jake even from twenty uh twenty and thirty years ago are way stronger than us, man. We'd never be as strong as them because their bones and everything is dip is is actually made stronger because that, that that was that generation. Each generation literally gets weaker on the planet. Man. Yeah, I couldn't. These kids now they fuck. These they kids, horrible, they mama man. smoking weed, popping zannies, drinking all day. These kids that's that be that's getting oh, born man. now. They oh, they destroy man. it. If this, <laughs> if, this, if this world to go, man, I I don't want to see this new generation. They it's literally destroy. called Generation Z. Ain't no letter after Z. Uh, Isaiah twenty four five it says the earth also is defiled under, under the inhabitants thereof. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken uh, the okay. everlasting covenant, and that's what that's what's that's the main reason why everything's so jacked up. Because everyone is doing things that are contrary to Yahweh Bashem Shai. Every single law is being broken. The Israelites is in slavery. History has been uh, distorted. You got uh, the children running amok. You got women thinking they got uh, nuts it's hanging nuts. under them. You got queers. Man, you a, a gay dude will actually come up to you and tell you that he want to smash you, and you can't do nothing. And we not bullshitting. We're not. We're not. When we say that, we we talk out of personal experience. All right. And you can't do nothing about it. You can't hit dude. You can't tell him. Uh, you can't curse him out. You'll go to prison. You start calling him all types of uh, fags and whatnot. This world is literally flipped upside down. The things in which are right are looked at as evil, and the things that are evil are looked at uh, as righteous. You got it, Doc. Uh, this is a Hebrew word, amalah, which means to, uh, for the word languish, it means to be weak, to drop, to languish, to to be, uh, what's that? Uh, exhausted. To be exhausted. And like, I, the first time I ever got on the plane, I sent a picture to the Akim, I said, why does the earth look bald? <laughs> The earth literally looks bald, man. It looks fucked up, man. The earth is literally exhausted, man. Everything is, is, is Everything exhausted. Everything is wanting. 
Yeah. Like when the, yep. when, yep. when exactly. the moon cycles, when a moon is waxing, it's more of it is becoming apparent. When it's wanting, more it's decreasing. Though this world is wanting away, yep. it's losing its strength. Yep. To be weak, drop. To be or grow. Feeble. And Esau, this is your fault. So I, the so Esau, yep. so-called white man, this is your fault. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Because under no under under no other ruler. No, hey, when the Chinese was in power, Japanese was in power, when the Arabs was in power, the uh, Jaff, Jaffites, so-called uh, Polynesians and whatnot, when every other type of kingdom, even other heathens were in power, they never did this to the earth. They never nope. created a society where you're literally destroying the food source that you need. Yeah. They didn't create a society where you're destroying the ground that you live on. Every other nation They're knows how to live. And these heathens is wicked as hell. They, they horrible. But every other nation knows how to live somewhat in harmony with the earth. Not you devils. You're, you're the devil. Y'all don't throw spears. Y'all drop nukes. Nope. When Esau... Fire. When a nigga has an accident, he gonna slip and bust his knee. When Esau, the so-called white man, has an accident, a nuke just might slip out the airplane and land on your fucking and city. It, and it's happened. It's happened. Esau, you been slipping up, dropping nukes, man. How you slip drop up him. and drop a nuke? <laughs> There's literally a constant Esau slipping up and nukes falling. Niggas hopping out the plane, let the nuke let in the, the nuke plane hit the just letting it hit the ground. Oh shit! Oh. It's crazy, man. Crazy. This is a uh, wisdom of Solomon six and verse twenty four. <laughs> but the multi multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world. So Esau, you're you're not you're not wise. You're not a wise king. So that means the the world isn't gonna have welfare. You're you you are literally the worst ruler on the planet. We're in the, we're gonna keep saying it's your fault because it is. It is. It's your fault. Who else's fault? You so-called white people always say it's not my fault. That was my hand. it's your fucking fault, man. Negroes don't own Smith didn't create Smith and Wesson, the gun company. No. It's your fault, man. The Lord the Lord chose you for it to be your fucking fault for the earth to be like this. You, you got to take it how it is. The Lord picked you to be blamed for all the evil that's going on on earth, man. And you niggas not excused, man. But it is your fucking fault, Esau. You told Eve to go after wickedness in the garden. If that would have never happened, this shit would have never went down, man. But it was all prophecy in the, in the spirit for Yahweh Shemiah Shah's movie in his own purpose. But you you to be the blame. You're the big, you're the blame, man. You've been the... You've been the antagonist from the beginning of creation. This is something real quick. This is Second Ezra uh, nine, uh, Second Ezra five and verse ten, and shall oh no, Second Ezra five and verse uh, verse six, and and even he shall rule whom whom they look not for that dwelled upon the earth, and the fowls shall take their their flight. All uh, away together. So he that he shall rule that they, whom they look not for, that dwelled upon the earth. Who is but who is that talking about? Who is that? I I get the scripture to prove who is who is talking about real quick. This is Job, Job thirty, and verse, and verse uh five. They were driven from among men. They cried. They cried after them as after a thief to 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 dwell in the clefts of the valley, in the caves of the earth, in in and in the rocks. And who and who is that? The Caucasian people. You read Hebrew Edomite. Uh, you see, you, you high IQ have them up. High <laughs> IQ, yeah. I, was, I thought you had high IQ. What y'all come? What, 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 why were y'all cave people? Why were you uh, like? There's accounts uh, dealing with the Moors. Why why were you so stanky? Why would you just walk around butt naked? Why would your women be walking around butt naked with their legs spread Sitting open, scratching their scratching they stuff like this and shit? Stinking. What was I thought y'all was high IQ? Why? Why is a oh, majority of the water uh, polluted now? Why? Why are y'all polluting space with space junk? High IQ nation. I thought y'all y'all high IQ. That's not some a person that's intelligent would do. All right, Second Edges chapter fifteen, verse six. It says, "For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth." And their hurtful works uh, are fulfilled. All right, and the whole earth. Let me see. Uh, let me get that Psalms. The whole entire planet Earth is polluted now. Everything, even a little, even a little baby. These oh. little babies coming out not innocent. Oh. Everything, everything. Can't take it. Well, as soon as you take your kid in the school system, all they get in teach is white supremacy, sodomy, 
uh, transgender. Yep. All to, you like Elder uh, the Elder uh, Ariella said he got to basically completely reflip the the way his kids sing when they get out of school, man. You got to go through what they teach you. How you feel about that? What was what what your teacher say to you? All you, you got to you really got to take hold to what Esau is doing, man. Esau is really destroying everything. He's from the kids to the people, man. Inanimate objects. A rock not safe. A rock on the ground that a rock that has been but, around for a thousand years not safe when Esau comes. This past. isn't safe. This has BPAs in it, Water man. Not safe. This is fucking plastic. Air not safe. Air gate. Fucking gate. all air. types of pesticides and shit can be in this water. We need to capture the air and test the air. We gotta experiment this we never breathed in this type of air before. We gotta test on it. And and don't they always show you in all these different movies that if it's, it's always a white man that, yep. that that's killing the earth. With some glasses on. With some yep, in a suit. And then they they show you if that was continue on, the earth will be completely obliterated. They always show it. They got different skits. They got all different types of skits and movies you can watch where they show if the so-called white man was to continue to rule, everything would die. Like that one Jake said with the dread, I don't remember his name. He said, he said, he said the solution is we have to kill oh, yeah. all white people. Oh, yeah. So we have to kill all white people. They have to be eradicated off the face of the earth. That's literally, that's the solution. All white people have to be killed. All red Hebrew Edomites have to be killed off the face of the earth, man. You gotta go. Okay, I just got this. Uh, Psalms 14 and uh, Psalms 14 and 1. It says, The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They're corrupt. And the number one uh, uh, blasphemer, the number one group of people that don't believe in the most highest, Esau, the so called white man, you actual Edomites. All right? They're the first, they're the main people talking about uh, atheism. All right? It says they have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men Outside to see in. if there were any that did understand and seek the most high power. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. The most high looking in like a, like a snow globe, man. He can see everything. He can see everything that's happening, man. And his eyes is on, is on his people. He can see his people's wickedness. And he can see the wickedness of the so-called white man. This is a... Uh, Psalm 10 and verse 3. For the wicked does uh, for the wicked boasts of his heart's desire and blesses the cup covetous whom the Lord abhors. The wicked through his pride of his countenance will not seek after Yahweh. Yahweh is not in all his his thoughts. So you're an unrighteous king. You're in the scriptures talk about uh, when an unrighteous king is in rulership. The people mourn. That's why the people and, and the earth is in a state that is that is in because there's a wicked ruler on the face of the earth that has to be put out, man. You you gotta go. You I don't care what you so called white people say, man. You have to be killed, man. Every Edomite and and not to confuse the face of this is not get it because you do have brothers who Israelite brothers who look like so called white men. Um, yeah, that's the square I was gonna mention. Yep. Yeah, man. Or or so called white women. But that's not who it's talking about. We talking about you red, natural, you actual Edomites, you Edomites that have man. the spirit of Esau yep. pumping and coursing through your veins. All right, because you right got through you. Israelites that unfortunately look, look like, like y'all, but you real Edomites that are actually devils that actually don't believe in the Most High or you hate him and you hate his chosen people. You're the ones that, you're the ones causing all of this. You, you the ones that's not sorry about slavery, the ones that, uh, Think slavery was a big accomplishment. The ones that's behind Trump talking about, yeah, we making America great. The ones riding in big old trucks, camoed out with a pistol and a sniper hanging up behind them, talking about they with a the uh, Confederate flag. Yeah, they hunt, they hunt niggas for breakfast. You devils, y'all are the ones that are destroying everything. Yeah. Like, uh, like one of your dupes is called. Uh, and you know what? So, you got no, the no, slide. No. Them devils, y'all are. The ones I just described, that's actually a low-level devil. You yeah. elites. Yeah. You you ones behind the doors uh, controlling the money, controlling uh, food coming in and out, controlling what technology is allowed to come to the public, controlling what uh, militaries go to war. You devils, that's you elite banking families. You're the ones that's responsible for all this. Yeah, I just got a uh, pr pr uh, premonition through the spear. I had a, like a little glimpse. You can sit there and laugh all you want, Lord Rothschild, and all you... All you elites, when you watch the videos, but you know, man, 
you know what the fuck's about to happen to you, yeah. man. After you get done you, jacking off the kitty yeah. porn, you gotta you realize you, you know what come back on you know <laughs> shit. You, you you can you can <laughs> like the like when the dude ran up on the on the Laura Ross yeah, yeah, yeah. talking you I mean, got him on camera, yeah. that nigga just smiling, looking like the devil himself. You know you know. Joe old decrepit ass is about to go into slavery, man. Yeah, what you even have a heart transplant for? Yep. Motherfuckers. This is this is the last thing I got. Uh, this is Proverbs twenty nine and verse uh, two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. Hey, plain simple shit. That's perfect. Want to end it all? So it's evident that the the all right. We let's let's play games. If we didn't know who the wicked was, it's obvious that somewhere, somebody, somewhere wicked has to be ruling. Everybody's sad, depressed, suffering, going through hell. Bills ain't getting paid on time. Motherfuckers hungry. Motherfuckers bodies hurts. So it's obvious that the things of this world are not in a proper order. And very soon, like it tells you in Isaiah and it tells you in Revelation, the tears are going to be wiped away from the eyes. And mainly of who? The Hebrew Israelites, the elect. All right, the one third. All of this suffering is about to come through to a close in the culmination and the return of our Lord. All right, when we see that, when we see the line of Judah breaking this atmosphere, that's when this shit you can feel. You can. It's already done. But when you see that, you saw it. You might as well sign over the paper. Put you know, do your get your box out your key. Put your shit out your cubicle. Put it in your box. Walk single file into slavery because it's over. Because that. We suffer for our affliction. We go through it every day. But now it's about to be your turn, man. Kind of. So with that, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rechak, Ba'ash, the waters to the apostle of the great millstone, uh, peace, blessings, and salutations, to all the Akim, Wakwati, learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. And with that, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom.